As soon as you enter the boss arena, grapple to the nearest tree branch over the bridge, and then twice more till you're right above the corrupted monk. Then lock on and jump in for a stealth death blow. Immediately grapple back to the same tree branch, lock on again and jump in for a second stealth death blow. This takes care of the monk's first two health bars, skipping the first two phases completely. To make the third phase easier, you can start by popping a Divine Confetti and Akko Sugar or Akko Spiritfall for increased damage. Ensure that the Shinobi Firecracker tool is equipped and active as it will let you interrupt the monk's attacks. Land two or three hits on the boss as she prepares to attack, immediately following up with the Shinobi Firecracker to blind her. Land three to four more hits and use another Shinobi Firecracker. Repeat this until you run out of Spirit Emblems. You can see me sticking to three hits per combo here, but you can apparently land an additional hit, a total of four hits before she needs to be blinded again. If the boss has anything left in the way of health by the time you run out of spirit emblems, her posture bar should be a few deflects away from being broken. The deflects are fairly easy to land, but remember to either keep your distance, dodge or jump away when she charges up a perilous attack as one of those does build up the terror status which can kill you instantly. And that's all there is to it. If this guide helped you, leave a like, maybe even subscribe to the channel and click that bell icon to be notified of future uploads, and I will see you in the next one.